This is a revision video for C1, Atomic Structure. What is an atom? All matter is made from atoms. Atoms of the same element are identical. Atoms cannot be made or destroyed. The existence of atoms was first proposed by John Dalton in 1803. It was later discovered that atoms consist of even smaller subatomic particles. They have a nucleus in the centre of the atom. And then you have electrons that are in a kind of orbit around the nucleus, although this is not technically true. Um, in 18, uh, 1987, J.J. Thomson discovered the electrons. And in 1911, Ernest Rutherford discovered that an atom is mostly empty space with a small positive charge concentrated in a tiny area within the centre of the atom. When we draw atoms, we always draw the nucleus containing the neutrons and the protons and then the electrons arranged in shells, which I'll speak about in the other video about electronic structure. The electrons are negatively charged and the protons are positively charged. The neutron has a zero charge and a relative atomic mass of one. The proton has positive one charge like we said and a mass of one the electron has a minus one charge and then we call its mass negligible it's not quite zero but it's not big enough to have an effect on the overall mass of the atom overall the atom has a zero charge an atom is neutral this atom for example has got three protons so three positive charges and it's got three electrons, so three negative charges. Overall, these charges balance out and the overall charge is zero. And that makes the atom neutral. In all atoms, there's the same amount of protons as there are electrons. This is an example of a hydrogen atom. We can find hydrogen on the periodic table and its symbol is H. Each element comes with a symbol to represent its name and two corresponding numbers. The bottom number here is called the atomic number. It's the number of protons that are in the atom and like we just said before the number of protons must be equal to the number of electrons for a neutral atom. This number at the top is the mass number of the atom the number of protons plus neutrons. Now for hydrogen this is one as hydrogen doesn't have any neutrons it has one proton in its nucleus. This is an, an helium atom. Now in helium we can see that its atomic number our proton number is two so that it has two protons. One, two. Then, because it has two protons, it's got two positives, which means it must have two negatives or two electrons to balance out those charges. Then, what we do to find the number of neutrons is look to the mass number. Now, we know that two of those, two of those four, are protons. To work out the number of neutrons, we have to do the mass number minus the atomic number, which will give us two. So, in, Which means that there are two neutrons in helium. Now, not all elements have the same number of neutrons as electrons. In helium, it's quite nice because they're all two, but there are some atoms where this is not the case. An example of this is beryllium. Now, if we look at beryllium, its symbol is Be, Atomic number is 4, so that means it's got 4 protons, and therefore 4 electrons. Now to get the neutron number, what we've got to do is the mass number minus the proton number, which gives us 5. So in this example, beryllium has 5 neutrons. 4 add 5 is 9. So four protons, four electrons and five neutrons. 
An isotope is a variety of an element that has the same atomic number, but a different mass number. In other words, it has the same number of protons, but it has a different number of neutrons. So for example, here we've got a hydrogen atom with its one proton and one electron. Here we have an isotope of hydrogen that has got a neutron in the nucleus. So if you look at the mass numbers, the second hydrogen has now got two. It's even got another isotope, hydrogen three, that now has two neutrons in the nucleus. So if we look at its mass number, now is three. Notice that each time the atomic number is the same. The proton number will not proton number gives you an element. If you change the proton number, then you change the element you have. Here is another example of an isotope. We've got chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. All isotopes are given the name of the element followed by their mass number. So chlorine 35 has a mass number of 35. Chlorine 37 has a mass number of 37. Notice again, the atomic number or the proton number is the same. If we change that, we won't have chlorine anymore. So remember, it's the proton number that decides which element it is. Now it's time for you to have a practice. You need to pause the video, get your periodic table in front of you, and see if you can answer these questions 1 to 5. Good luck.